Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to prevent hair breakage and also how to train your hair to only wash it one to two days a week and to prevent it from going greasy in between. I have gained a lot of tips and tricks over the years and I've put them all into play and I have seen big results by using these tips and tricks on my hair. I have prevented hair breakage. I've also trained my hair so that I only have to wash my hair one or two days a week. So if you're interested in seeing what tips and tricks you can use to prevent hair damage and to only wash your hair one to two days a week, then please keep on watching. So over the years, I've gained a lot of tips and tricks on how to make my hair healthier and to prevent breakage along the way. I do have three videos up of the Olaplex line and I will link those below for you and up here so that you can check those videos out after this video. And as you know, Olaplex is a great line to prevent hair damage but to also repair damage as well. So I have gained a lot of experience over the years like I said and I have gone through brunette to going back blonde and have experienced a lot of damage along the way. So I do touch base on my story in my Olaplex number three video on that and because of that situation that I had that's when I really had a wake-up call on my hair that's when I really started to pay attention on what am I using on my hair what am I doing and how can I get my hair healthier and keep it that way so my hair right now is the best state it's ever been in it's really shiny it's soft it's healthy and it's manageable and that's why I'm on here today to give you tips and tricks on how you can get your hair back to what it used to be or to keep it where it is to prevent further damage along the way and I think that you will be successful if you use these tips and tricks put them into action and I do think that you're gonna see some results over time as well so first things first you want to try and train your hair to only wash your hair one to two days a week now this can be a little bit difficult for people who have really oily hair and I am one of those people I have pretty fine hair and when you do have fine hair you do notice that your hair becomes oily really quickly and it becomes really greasy so before I started to train my hair to only wash it one to two days a week I was washing it every other day and that was really annoying it was always time consuming and I'm washing my hair several times a week just to get clean hair so when I went through my hair experience back when I was brunette and going back blonde I experienced a lot of breakage so I wanted to wash my hair less so that I can have the natural oils be in my hair and then have them down to the ends of my hair by combing it through. So I did this back when I was going through that experience and it really did help along the way to get the health of my hair back because I'm not washing my hair as often, I'm not stripping the oils out of my hair, I'm allowing those oils to be in my hair and by combing through your hair you're also allowing those oils to go down your hair shaft and to make this area healthy as well by your natural oils. But if you're somebody that doesn't have damaged hair and you just want to train your hair to only wash it one to two days a week, then I would definitely suggest doing that because not washing your hair every day is going to be a lot better on our hair. You're going to see more shiny hair that way and it's going to be better overall. So by training your hair to only wash it one to two days a week, there's two options that you can do. So the first option is to obviously invest in a dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is going to be your best friend and Batiste is my best friend. I use this all the time and I really love this brand. Now, of course, you can use any dry shampoo that you like, but for me personally, I have the best results with the Batiste line and I use the original formula. Now, this is the big bottle. This is the 400 ml, but they do sell the 200 mils as well. But because I go through dry shampoo so quickly, I like to invest in the bigger bottles. So you're gonna want to invest in a dry shampoo and there's two ways that you can use the dry shampoo. So most of us are using it where after we wash our hair, we'll let our hair go for one to two days and then once you start to see your hair becoming greasy, maybe on the second or third day, that's when we start to incorporate the dry shampoo in our hair. And that's how I use it, that's totally fine. So you just basically section off your hair, you just spray in the areas that are really greasy. For me, it's the crown of my head and along my hairline under here. So I just spray all around, let it sit for a couple of minutes and then I will massage my fingers in my hair to absorb the oil with the powder. So that's the first way you can use the dry shampoo. The second way to use dry shampoo is the day that you wash your hair, 
I would recommend putting the dry shampoo in your hair once you've styled your hair, whether you've curled it or if you've just straightened it, and then put the dry shampoo all over your areas that become the oiliest. So your crown of your head, maybe here, and then along your hairline. By putting the dry shampoo on fresh, cleaned hair, this will prevent your hair from becoming greasy as well because the powder is already in your hair and as your hair is becoming greasier and the oils are coming out of your scalp, the powder is going to attract the oil and it's going to absorb it right away. You're not going to see the greasiness as quickly as if you were to leave your hair clean for a day or two then putting the dry shampoo in. This is actually going to target the oil right away and you're not going to see the oil and the grease right away either. This is a great tip that I like to recommend with dry shampoo is to put it in clean hair and I do this all the time and you do see that your hair doesn't become as oily as if you were to leave it a couple of days and then put the dry shampoo. So dry shampoo will be your best friend, highly recommend it and definitely pick one up because you're definitely going to need it by doing this. So the next thing that you can do if you're not into dry shampoo then you can just do a root wash. You're going to want to get a hair tie, you're going to want to tie your hair up at the back like this. Make sure all of your hair is back and you can even put it in a bun too so that way your hair isn't getting in front of you here so it's all pinned back. Now what a root wash is is that you only want to wash the roots of your hair. So mainly it's this area and the crown of your head. You don't want to so much do under here because dry shampoo can really soak up the oils along your hairline but most of us want to freshen up the roots of our hair and back here so what you're gonna want to do is you're either gonna want to do this in the shower or you're gonna want to do it in maybe your kitchen sink and what you're gonna do is you're going to dunk your head in the water but only to get this section wet and the crown of your head once this is wet, get a little bit of shampoo, rub it in your hands, and you're just going to want to massage it in this area right here, here as well as the crown. If you're somebody that doesn't like to part their hair in the center and it's off to the side, then you would do the same technique, making sure that your hair is parted to the side, pinned back, and then washing the part the same way you would do if you're washing this area. You want to massage the area like this with shampoo as well as the crown. And once it's all saturated, then you're going to want to dunk your head back into the water and just have this rinse off right here. This is all going to stay dry, but you're only rinsing and washing the root area. So this is another option that you can do if you don't want to use dry shampoo. You can just do this maybe on the third or fourth day and just touch up the area here as well as the crown of your head and then obviously when you're done you would undo your hair and then you can then comb out a little section and then just blow dry it or just let it air dry. This here doesn't get so greasy at all it's just obviously the crown of our head that we have to worry about so if you do a root wash you definitely will see a big difference and your hair just looks really clean. If you do have damaged hair but we're trying to train our hair to only wash our hair one to two days a week, then you're going to want to invest in a hair oil. So I really love the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. I did do a video on this, so I will link that below for you or up here. You just want to focus this on the ends of your hair. If we're trying to train our hair to only wash it one to two days a week, you only want to put conditioners and hair oils on the mid ends of our hair and down and maybe the bangs if we do have some damaged bangs. This is a really great oil to put on the ends of your hair and by doing that you will see that your hair will become healthier as well over time. This oil repairs hair, it also eliminates frizz, it has a UV protection on there, heat protection, a lot of other great benefits as well. So you want to start from here down and this will help you get further along in your hair washing as well because our hair is going to be more tamed, it's going to look really healthy and shiny and it's not going to start to look dry and frizzy. So this is another great tip to do is to add a hair oil in your routine through the days that you're not washing your hair and only focusing it on the ends and I'm telling you you will see a big difference in your hair not only the look of your hair but it's also going to feel good as well and it's also going to protect and repair our hair as well. The next tip that I could recommend is to invest in a clarifying detox shampoo. So what a clarifying shampoo does is that it removes all of the excess oils in our hair as well as product buildup. So if you're somebody that uses a lot of hairsprays and styling creams and leave-in conditioners and so on, 
A clarifying shampoo is going to remove all of the product buildup from your hair so that your hair is starting fresh again. This isn't going to remove your hair color or your bleach or it's not going to remove anything like that. It's just removing buildup oils in our hair as well as product buildup. So I really like to use the Kevin Murphy Detox Shampoo for colored treated hair and I like to use this once a month especially when I start to see my hair being weighed down more. I'm seeing a lot more oiliness and greasiness in the crown of my hair as well as my hairline and you can just sometimes feel that you do have a product buildup on the ends of your hair. Now I use a lot of purple shampoo and I find that if I overuse purple shampoo I do find my hair starts to look a little bit dark. So by incorporating a clarifying shampoo it's going to remove the buildup from all of that purple shampoo and it's going to make it vibrant again and it's going to bring the brightness back to your hair again so that you're starting fresh. So this isn't going to ruin your bleached hair or your colored hair. This is just going to remove product buildup from your hair and oils and I'm telling you right now when you use a clarifying shampoo in your hair washing routine at least one to two times a month you're going to see a big difference in your hair and you're going to notice that your hair isn't going to become as oily either. It's a great shampoo to add to your hair washing routine one to two times a month and you will see a big difference if you're using a clarifying shampoo. The next tip that I can recommend is making sure that you're brushing your hair all the time. Now when I was going through my hair experience of going brown to blonde, I was experiencing a lot of breakage. I never wanted to put a comb through my hair ever. I thought, yeah, right, I am not putting a comb through my hair when my hair is tangled all the time, it's breaking, and it's frizzy. Like I never wanted to put anything through my hair. But I've realized that if you're gonna train your hair to wash it one to two days a week, you want to make sure that you're bringing the oils from the top of your hair down so that you can condition the ends of your hair with your natural oils. Now, I only started doing this a couple of years ago, but I really should have been doing it from day one. And it really does make a big difference in your hair. It really does repair your hair, and I'm telling you, your hair becomes really shiny as well. Now, I like to use this type of comb here, which is the wet brush. Now, there are tons of combs out on the market. There's the Bore Bristle Brushes, which I used to use, and those are really supposed to be great for bringing the oils down your hair shaft and to condition the ends of your hair. I really like those too, but I've been really loving the wet brush, which is this one here. And I just make sure that I brush my hair a couple of times a day, especially before I go to bed. I like to make sure that I'm brushing it all over. Nothing too crazy, just a little brushing just to make sure that I'm distributing the oils evenly throughout my hair. And by doing this, I'm telling you, you will see a big difference in your hair for the health of your hair as well. You're stimulating your scalp as well by brushing your hair all the time and you're not going to be as greasy if you're constantly combing your hair. If you don't comb your hair, all of your oils are just going to stay up here and then you're going to look really greasy up here. So make sure that you comb your hair to bring that oil down to the ends of your hair which is also going to benefit and treat your hair as well with your own oils. I highly recommend brushing your hair a couple of times a day but especially at night time. The next tip that I would recommend is to invest in some really good hair ties, especially scrunchies. Scrunchies are going to be your best friend, especially if you're going through a breakage situation with your hair and your hair is very damaged. Scrunchies are going to be the most gentle hair ties in your hair. So what I like to do is I like to use these scrunchies. Now these are called the Slip Silk Scrunchies. They do have other sizes as well, but I like to use this size. Now these are the colors that I got in they're very neutral and they'll go with a lot of outfits if you're wearing these during the day which I tend to do a lot. I like to put my hair up in a top ponytail, curl the ends and then I like to have these in my hair because it's very gentle through the day. This doesn't give me headaches which I know a lot of hair ties can give you headaches and it's really tight on the hair and your hair hurts. So these are very gentle and you don't have breakage and you don't get kinked hair with these either which is amazing. So I can wear my hair up in a ponytail with this all day long, take my hair out of my 
ponytail and I will have no crease in my hair whatsoever. So that's why I like to use these at nighttime when I'm going to bed. I always, always tie my hair up when I go to bed, whether it's a top bun or a top ponytail, a low ponytail, a low bun. I just want to make sure that my hair is always pulled back because if I'm trying to train my hair to only wash it one to two days a week, the ends of your hair are going to become oily, especially if you're using a hair oil. But if you're brushing your hair and bringing your natural oils down your hair, you don't want this on your face because you will experience some breakouts and we don't want breakouts. Make sure that you tie your hair back when you're going to bed. Whether you have breakage hair or healthy hair, always make sure that you are pinning your hair back with a hair tie. So these are very gentle, like I said, they are a satin material and they're very gentle. So what I like to do is I just like to pin my hair up like this, throw it in a bun, and then put the hair tie in and then go to bed. And I'm telling you, when you do this, you're gonna see a big difference in your hair as well. And you'll probably see a big difference in your face as well if you are somebody that is prone to breaking out. Your hair really does contribute to a lot of acne in our face, especially when you wear your hair down all the time and your hair is always touching your face. But at nighttime, you can't control where your hair is. So if your hair is in your face like this and you're sleeping, we're gonna get pimples. So let's try and eliminate that. Invest in some really nice scrunchies like this and it's going to be a lifesaver. So the next tip that I can recommend is to invest in a satin or a silk pillowcase. Now whether you have damaged hair or not, this is great for everybody. I have a white one here and these are a lifesaver. Not only for breakage hair, but it's also great to prevent fine lines and wrinkles on your face as well. With the satin and silk pillowcase, it has a nice slip to the pillowcase, which is going to prevent your hair from breaking. It's going to prevent friction so that your hair isn't always rubbing on the cotton and creating breakage and dryness and frizziness to your hair. This is really going to help in preventing your hair from breakage and it's going to also help prevent you from getting fine lines and wrinkles, which is really great too. I mean, we all want that. So I have been using a silk pillowcase for many years now and it really has made a big difference in my hair and the way that my hair looks even when I wake up. So I used to wake up with really frizzy hair and my hair just looked like it needed some oil in my hair because the cotton material I find was doing something to my hair. But now when I wake up in the morning after sleeping on a satin pillowcase, I've seen a big difference in my hair. The way I look now is the way I wake up in the morning. And I love that and that's what we all want. We want to make sure that when we sleep, nothing's happening to our hair when we're sleeping. So definitely invest in a satin or a silk pillowcase. There's all kinds out there. I will link some options below for you, but these are a lifesaver. And when we're training our hair to only wash it one to two days a week, we're gonna experience greasiness, obviously. We're gonna experience a lot of buildup in our hair from the dry shampoo. So you wanna make sure that you're switching out your pillowcases every couple of days. So you just keep washing the pillowcase that you have or pick up some extra pillowcases and switch them out every two to three days because when you are training your hair, this may cause acne on our skin and it may create some breakouts on our skin. So make sure that when we are only washing our hair one to two days a week, whether our hair is trained at that point or not, you still wanna make sure that you're changing out your pillowcases every couple of days because we don't wanna have all of that oil and product on our faces because that's going to create premature aging as well as fine lines and wrinkles and breakouts. So we don't wanna be doing that, so make sure that you change out your pillowcases every couple of days. And the last tip that I'm gonna recommend is to lay off on heat styling tools. So even if you're somebody with very damaged hair or you're somebody with healthy hair but maybe you're experiencing some dryness at the moment, just lay off on heat styling tools for a little while and I'm telling you, you will see a big difference in the way your hair looks and feels. And this is a key thing to do if you really wanna get the health back into your hair. I stopped using all heat styling tools for many years when I went through my traumatic experience with going brown to blonde. And even to this day, I still don't even blow dry my hair. If I do, I let my hair air dry to about 80% and then the last 20% I get a blow dryer and then I blow dry my hair on a warm or cool hair setting. Now that's just my personal preference. I could start blow drying my hair every, every time if I wanted to and my hair would still be fine, but I just like to let my hair air dry if I can and if I have the time in my day. And I really like the way my hair looks and feels afterwards. It just looks silkier and smoother and it just feels a lot softer as well. So laying off heat styling tools will definitely help get the health back to your hair as well because we're not putting all of that 
heat on our hair but if you are somebody that can't and you need to use something like a hair straightener or a hair dryer then just make sure that you do have a really good heat protectant in your hair to prevent your hair from the heat. So that is everything in today's video. I really hope that you found this video helpful and that you can put some of these tips and tricks into play for yourself if you are somebody that's experiencing breakage or you're somebody that really wants to train your hair to only wash your hair one to two days a week. These tips and tricks will definitely help you guys get there and they have helped me and I have seen big results in my hair. Let me know if you use these tips and tricks already and let me know your hair experiences and of course if you have any questions leave them below like you've been doing and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. So I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Take care and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.